Okay, we have a 2009 Kawasaki Vulcan 900 um, Classic Limited. And what we've done is we've gone LED on everything. Um, headlight, tail light, um, and all the turn signals are all LED. So I already made a video about the, um, the relay, replacing your relay. So I'll put a link to that video. But here's the relay that uh, is designed for a lower load. Um, that uh, makes your all your signals flash at a normal pace and not do the hyper blinking. Um, so got that done, um, and I was as I was testing things out, um, come to find out that you know the tail lights work like they're supposed to. So you know I turn on my uh, right blinker, that works just fine. You turn on the left blinker. All right. And that works just fine okay now the problem comes is my left blinkers on right I come over here and on my dynamic rings up front that is the right blinker blinking and that is the left blinker blinking okay so I ran into this late late last night custom dynamics was uh, not open so they, they supposedly have great uh, customer support uh, but this morning I did some more research um, and found, you know, someone else posted a problem. They didn't know how to solve it, but um, once they unplugged their uh, cluster here, it went away. So what that means is this is an incandescent bulb that's in your blinker. That is what's causing the problem. You can't see it. It's too dim, but it is flashing. Okay, it's barely flashing, but it's pulling a load and the bike thinks there's a problem, right? So, because the relay is uh, drawing too much load. And when that happens, this is sort of the symptoms you'll get. Either two of your blinkers will flash, either front or rear. It's typically, it's gonna, in this case, it's the front because the load is in front, um, of the, on the front end of the circuit. Uh, but in some cases, all four flashers or signals will flash. Um, but the way you solve that is to either remove that incandescent bulb and throw it away or put it away somewhere, hide it, um, and replace it with an LED or just not replace it. Uh, I like having my indicator because sometimes I'm, a, I'm an idiot and don't turn my shit off uh, uh, on this bike, right? So it doesn't have the auto, um, auto turn off. Um, so to, to just show you how this does solve the problem, I'll unplug the cluster, okay? Now that, that incandescent bulb's no longer in the chain, and now my right ring is working like it's supposed to and the left ring is blinking okay so it's that simple um, whether you have a kawasaki or suzuki or yamaha or whatever bike you've got if you're having this problem the issue is probably going to be your in if you have an indicator light swapping that out with an led um, so that you don't have an overload on your on your uh, relay uh, that's it